stock market recap today is october 14th 2024 got a nice quilt background for you guys today enjoy but i wanted to talk about bitcoin it's starting to go up but it still is in this downward trend line and if it does close tomorrow in the positive that should get it above the downward trend line and that would be huge for Bitcoin to break out and eventually try to push towards 100,000. I do believe it's gonna get it up there. It's just a matter of time, maybe six to 12 months from now. We'll see how bullish it becomes, okay? But it's gotta break out of this DTL downward trend line first, okay? And then micro strategy took a breather today, probably because of the huge run it's had, some profit taking, but usually, you know, that does well when Bitcoin goes up. It was actually doing well when Bitcoin was going down or staying flat. So now the opposite happened today, so it'll be interesting to see. If they do a secondary offering, which a lot of times they do because they just use that money to buy more Bitcoin, it makes sense what Michael Saylor's doing. Um, but that one could catch a bounce. We'll see if they don't do a secondary offering because remember that dilutes shareholders. So we'll see what happens there. And then I've talked about Upstart. They had a stellar day, short squeeze happening there. They got upgraded, same with the firm, okay? Semiconductors are doing well also, ASML. Caught a lift, Taiwan Semiconductors is pretty much at all-time highs. And NVIDIA did officially hit a new all-time high today, guys. Amazing. It wasn't too long ago where everyone was scared shitless, right? That NVIDIA was done, right? It went into the 90s. We had that bounce up and then it came right back down to the low 100s. People got in fear again. And then I was saying to buy again. We played it back up and now here we are at all-time highs. Amazing. I did say there was a chance... By the end of the year, it would go back to all-time highs, and no one expected it to happen in October, right? So always surprises, but that's why you don't bet against the best company in the world, it's NVIDIA, with supply way less than demand with their AI chips and the Blackwell chip coming out soon. That's another catalyst, right? So like I said, don't bet against AI right now, guys. So if NVIDIA keeps going up, it can take the rest of the market with it. So semiconductors are doing well right now, and they tend to follow IGV. So when IGV goes up, like we've seen today, it was kind of flat, didn't do a whole lot, but we'll see if that can get back on track again um, the rest of the week. But the SOX index or the semiconductors, okay, they usually follow IGV when it performs well than the semiconductors do. And that's exactly what we saw today. So all you know, a lot of these semiconductor stocks pop nicely. So ASML has earnings coming up here soon. So if they can beat and raise, that can continue the rally. And this is why I mentioned the semiconductor stocks to play those because they're off their highs still, right? That's what we want to look for. Stocks that are off their highs, not already at highs, right? So we can capture those gains going back to all-time highs. And then I also mentioned the QQQ and that's making its way back to all-time highs. It's only a matter of time, guys, before both of those, in my opinion, get back there. So that's why I recommended those, you know, last week and the week before that. So anyways, that's your update today, guys. Enjoy your week and I'll be back again on Thursday, but I'll still have time here and there to, to keep you updated with what's going on. And again, if I don't respond to your comments right away, just know it's because I'm on vacation. But again, I do have time when my son's sleeping or anybody else where I get little breaks here. So enjoy your night, guys.